And how lovely day it is too as well. Yeah, it looks nice out there. Um, what I'm ringing about is um, the new law which the which they've been bringing in, which I think it should have been brought in a long time ago, regarding decriminalising the TV licence. Oh, yeah, they're talking about civilianising it, if you like. It will be a civil offence, not a criminal offence. Yeah. Um, now, as I spoke to um, one of your, the people earlier on went to get through, I explained to uh, the, the lady on the switchboard that I'm legally licensed free. I don't have a TV. I watch everything online. Um anything I need to catch up on. I yeah. go on the internet, so I don't need a TV licence. Yeah. But I'm still getting threatening letters. Although I've explained the TV licence that I don't need a TV licence because I haven't got a TV. But I still get the threatening letters. I know a lot of people think that happens. Um, it's so unfortunate. Feel, basically, you feel like a criminal anyway because they're saying um, your house is under investigation because... You haven't got a TV license, but there's thousands and thousands of people, Roger, who don't actually own a TV, but are still being hounded by TV license. Yeah, I know. I, I find it very difficult to argue, but one reason is that the BBC says that if it becomes a civil offence and not a criminal one, we would probably lose about 1% of the licence fee, and that's enough to take off, let's say, all the local radio stations. Uh, well, they would have to lose a big, big chunk of what we're doing. Not, I mean, it could be not have read BBC Three or something, I don't know. But it's a lot of money, I can't remember the exact amount. Yeah, but I, I think they're saying the 1%, they're saying that's down to evasion. People who don't actually pay uh, the TV licence. Yeah, so they, they think evasion will increase if it's a civil offence, that's what they believe. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Um, but, at the end of the day, People who don't need a TV licence shouldn't be hounded. I agree with you, but there is a problem. The slight problem is that people move houses. And, uh, you know, it's it's tied to the house. Yeah. And people move houses. Yeah. But as I say, if you... Like you say, at the end of the day, if you, if you actually ring them up and tell them that you don't need a TV, I agree what you're saying about people do move house and stuff like that. But really, I'm thinking... If you're telling them that you don't need one, then that should be the end of it. But I get letters saying that they, they want you know, to come in and investigate why I haven't got a TV licence. So basically, I've got to let them in. Although you haven't got to let them in, I, you know, when, when they do come, because yeah. it actually does say on the letter that you don't have to let them in to check. Have they actually come to your front door? Yeah, they've been to, been to my front door. Yeah, I mean... The it would be easier if um, the government paid the licence fee, in a sense. Uh, but the problem is it would be even more accusations then that we were a state organisation and not independent of government. I don't know what the answer is. It looks to me, the way they're talking, is it will become a civil offence. It will be a civil offence. My guess is that it will, yeah. Yeah, but it will be a civil offence. But I, this is the problem, you see. They're saying, like, it's going to be in within two months. Um, now the, the the BBC TV license it runs till 2016. Yeah, I don't see them doing it now. I think they're more likely to do it when the charter comes up. To be honest. Yeah, when that when the charter comes up, do and you the, think it'll happen beforehand? It might do. They're calling for it to happen, but I, my suspicion is not. It's a bit of a fuss to get that yeah. through Parliament when there's other more important things to get through Parliament. Yeah, because it is at the moment it must be clogging the court systems up. Yeah, and you do hear about people going to prison because of oh, not paying the TV license, which is... I think it was 70 people got sent to prison. I mean, it's, it's wrong, really. Um, I now, certainly think that we have a lot of people in prison who shouldn't be in prison. <laughs> would you agree, uh, Roger, if the BBC made a subscription? We've got no time left to discuss it. It's a massive discussion, that one. I'll have to yeah. leave it. But generally speaking, not. But anyhow, thanks very much indeed for your call. OK, thanks for the time, Roger. Cheers, Dave. Bye-bye. Okay. That Dave there from Norris Green now. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Rog. Hello. Good afternoon. afternoon. Uh, regarding the TV licence, Rog, I'd just like to... Uh, I've had... I don't know, I've still got them all. I don't know how many letters threatening me, telling me to keep this letter ready for court for all the all little innuendos, yeah. even though they don't know my name, and they don't know that I've broken any laws, because I haven't. Right. I use a, a, an analogue TV and an analogue VHS. I can't watch TV unless I get a, a, a digi box, which I haven't got. I don't want one. Right. There's no aerial on the property anyway. Then you cannot see like anything. I get, 
I still get these letters. So my point is, and to everyone, don't let them in. Unless they've got a search warrant, they've got no right to come in your house. And if they do come in your house, they have got a search warrant. You can't go through your cupboards. You can just look at each room. So if you want to play their game, play their game, but don't, don't let them in. That's my advice. I think it is very difficult, but I actually think it's very difficult for the people, for the BBC, if you like, who need to get the money in in order to pay me. OK, but there's that... my second point, Roger. Yeah. If it's such value for money, such a great service, yeah. scramble the signal and let those that want to subscribe to it, subscribe to it. And stop telling people, you better pay us and take our service or you're going to cause and possibly prison. Well, if I said to you, I've got a business, I've got a building firm, I want you to pay me 20 quid a week. I know you're not using it, but you might need it. So pay me 20 quid a week. But if you're not using it... You wouldn't it, like it, would you? No, but if you're what not... Other, what other company in this country says, you pay me whether you like it or not, or you're going to prison? Well, you don't pay if you haven't got a television. If you can't receive your, on your television set, you don't pay. I, I, exactly, I don't. But that doesn't stop them saying, keep this letter because you're going to need it for And court. to be honest, if, if, the, if it goes to civil rather criminal, you'll still get letters like that. Yeah, but how many little old ladies and fellas pensioners sitting there? Well, little old ladies get it free. Over 75s get no, it free. Right, let, OK, let me rephrase it. How many slightly older people who are really nervous getting these letters going, oh, my God. I've got to pay the heating bill, I've got to pay food. And now I'm going to threaten to, I might go to school, I might be in prison. No, they, if they don't, if happen, they can't, if, if, they haven't, if they haven't got a television, and they know they haven't got a television that receives television live pictures, then there yeah, is no way they'll go to prison. They're still getting harassed. Well, they I get letters. I've got a TV that I use as a monitor. No one's come to check. They've just got letter after letter after letter saying you're going to court, you're under investigation. But you don't need but to do anything with that. such a letter. If you are genuinely, you know, if you don't don't watch the telly, you put it in a bin. I don't, but well, I, then, I, why should I let... My, my point is, why should I be harassed and let people in? Because, because there are a lot of people who try to defraud and don't pay, that's why. Well, that's the, then, then they should have um, the, the search ones, and then they can go on the premises and search, can't they? But then again, they can't. They can only look in each room. You can't go through your cupboards and your walls over and over. I don't know what they can and can't that's do. That's not going to solve the problem, is it? Or the other way, put the adverts on, whether you like it or not. Well, if, if, you, want, if you want, no, if you want to ruin ITV, Channel 4 watch. and Sky, the that's BBC the way to do we're it. We're slightly above everybody else. No, we were before but, everybody else, not above them. That doesn't make any difference. The everybody else wouldn't around. have happened without us. If John Burr hadn't across. brought in digital, the digitisation, so which was done with the licence fee, you bet it was. No, but the BBC spent your licence money, for instance, digitalising everything. As a result, Sky happened. As a result, you got many, many challenges. That's because the BBC... Well, I'm, go I'm going on a minute. Yeah, well, I'm going on a minute. The BBC go and make programmes that don't get shown here. It gets shown all around the world, don't they? We, we the sell our programmes around the world, yes. the licence fee paying for that? I remember in the 1990s... You know, if, if, if the licence fee... Look, the licence has been frozen over six years. in the 1990s. The licence uh, pay it funded that, but the licence payer didn't get it. You'd have to go and pay secondary as well. So you bought a licence, and if you want a BBC selecting cons, you, then you pay a bit more, because yeah, they, we're just a little bit highbrow. We've got, you know, like this special select service. If you can afford what, it... What service are you talking about? I've never known of a service beyond you know, there the licence. There was a service in the 1990s, you want to call BBC Select. And if you wanted it, it, you subscribe to it. I have no idea. So why didn't I don't you know. do that with BBC One and BBC Two and all the rest of them? The, 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 the only slight problem with your argument is that people do. Ninety-three percent of the population watch the BBC for a substantial okay, number of hours choice, every year. That, well, so ninety-three percent of the population would subscribe to it. Not necessarily. To, not necessarily. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. The BBC don't want to do it because they're scared. They know they'll have to compete with all the other channels. They'll have to compete as a business. Well, no, no, we compete with them but now. People, we win hands down. You cost twice as much to watch Sky. It costs a fortune in well, advertising look, to watch ITV. Saying, we why, compete why, why massively the with them. Why are you so afraid of giving people a choice? Stop. stop but you just said we compete. You said we with the law and say, yeah, here's a service. It's so great. We're confident that you'll subscribe to it. I'm not confident people would be, would subscribe to it. Exactly. You're not giving them the choice because you know you'll lose the money. And you would lose a massive cultural offering that's given by the BBC. What do you say? No, I know. <laughs> I know. I know if because... I think, if I think uh, ITV3 is the best channel in the world, that's my opinion. Yes, it is. It's not a really sensible TV. opinion since it originates nothing. But nevertheless, you might think it is. You might think BBC3 exactly. is the best channel no, in the world. You, you just said to me, I'll, you'll lose this cultural... 
Yeah, you'd lose why? six orchestras, you'd lose 43 local radio stations, you'd lose the world service, you would lose a massive amount of valuable things. Why the programme will be taken by all the other channels and shown anyway? No, they wouldn't. I see, I see no, they wouldn't. They don't make money. The no, they wouldn't. The orchestras, the, the, the orchestras don't make money. The orchestras don't make money. The local radio stations don't make money. Oh, so they're never going to, they're never going to... Oh, yeah, that was the other chestnut, wasn't it? Look, you're getting your radio for free. You're not. You're paying it to your licence. Yeah, but you don't have to have a licence fee <laughs> to listen. I don't see you, you, you're so programmed, aren't you? Exactly, my TV licence fee doesn't pay for it. Of course it does. You see, it pays for it, but you don't have to have the licence fee. Exactly. So you're so not paying for it. You're getting it completely free because you don't pay the licence fee. Get license, you get it completely free. Andrew, you, you are a freeloader. You get it free because you don't pay the licence fee. I'm not a freeloader at You all. are. You're getting radio oh, without oh. paying for it. There are them companies that I watch have advertisements on there, yeah. and companies pay them to put their products on, and yeah. I'm bombarded with it. I don't mind. I'll do that all day That's long. Fine. That's but fine. I don't like being told I'm a freeloader, and I don't like being told but I'm you are, to But you are. Don't accept it, Andrew. I you are not paying for the licence fee, but you're listening to the radio. You're not listening, watching telly, I agree, you but you're listening... It was free. You it is free for you. Done. It's so free not, for you. It's Oh, so it's not free for anybody else. No, so other people are paying, are paying the licence fee. They're paying so for you. Other, so you're telling me they're paying for the radio, yeah? Yeah, yeah the licence fee pays for the radio. Free, just said it's free, which is it? Is it free? It's or free. No, it's not free for them, but it's free for you. Well, I, you just told me it's free. I don't, my licence fee doesn't say if you I... You don't have a licence fee. I'm just saying, if I choose to pay one on what yes. BBC... It doesn't say you're paying for local radio, does it? Well, it, so it's it free is, to everybody it is doing. then, isn't it? It is it's local radio free to everybody. The BBC, it's free to everybody, isn't it? it you, the licence fee is not needed to listen to radio, that's correct. Exactly, so it's free to everybody then, isn't it? Yeah, but others are exactly. paying for so it I'm through their licence fee. It's so not magic, free. Andrew. The licence fee is paying for it. You don't have to have a licence fee, but the licence fee is paying for it. You don't pay for a licence fee, therefore it's so completely it free, free for you. So it isn't free, is it? For you it is. <laughs> and all because I've got my head together, I'm saying Fair I'm enough. not going to be bullied by some little company saying, <laughs> you better pay us or you're going to prison. Well, I'm not going to prison, I'm not breaking any law. Good, that's fine. If I fine. break the law, you can come and say you're going to prison. But you better prove it first. The oh. burden of proof is with you. Don't be sending letters to me and you don't even know my name. Tell telling me to keep this ready for your court case. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Right. How I'm... much money are you paying for them lessons? How many millions are them lessons? I have no getting? idea. It's not my department. Exactly. Oh, see, there's a, there's a cop out, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's not me. It's somebody else. Somewhere else is doing it. I'm afraid so.